good day all welcome back to my channel art and craft a hobby in today's series we are going to learn how to make quilt leaves for this we will need some quilling strips of different shades a comb tweezers quilling needle scissors glue and the shaper board for the first leaf, I am taking a 3 mm quilling strip, which is 39 millimeters in length. I am folding this into half. I have made a bow at the top, as you see. From the remaining strip on one side, I will be making two more bows. So this will be of a uh, decreasing length. I will be repeating the same on the other side as well. The length of the bows need not be even, so it is fine. A little error is absolutely fine. I will now glue up the open end. Outline of our leaf is now ready. I am taking another strip of lighter shade and making an open coil out of it. I am using a 15 mm circle on the shape board to make the open coil. Glue the end of the open coil and shape the coil into an open eye markish. To do this, hold the open coil between your thumb and index finger and with both your hands gently taper the ends. I am going to do the same with other two open coils which I am going to use in this leaf. I will now glue the outer side of the coil and insert them in the top three slots of the leaf outline. I will leave the two tiny leaves in the bottom as it is. You can make leaves of this pattern in different lengths. For that you will have to attach two or three strips as per the need of your project. Fold the joint strips into two halves. And make as many number of bows as you need on both the sides and then insert the open eye coils and your leaf will be ready as per the required length. Our first leaf is now ready. For the second leaf, I am using the comb quilling technique. I am using the wider teeth of the comb to make the loops. To start with, form the first loop by wrapping the strip around three teeth as shown in the video and glue the starting of the strip. Continue to make the second loop with the same strip wrapping around 6 teeth this time. This will be inclusive of the first loop. Continue this until you reach the end of the strip and glue the end of the strip to the same loop. Leaves made in this technique are much firmer than compared to the open coil technique. When you make incremental loops with uh, looping around two teeth, you get shorter leaf. And when you make incremental loops with three teeth, you get a longer leaf and so on. We are now done with the looping. I am going to glue this and gently remove the leaf from the comb. I am now flattening the leaf. I have made this leaf with three teeth incremental slot likewise i have one made with two and three alternating slots and i have one with two teeth alternating so this is the shortest now i'm going to join all these three together i will run my quilling tool against each of these leaf to give a gentle bend these are thick enough and they are firm as well so you can use this as fillers or weeds as well in any of your projects 
you can even attach any flowers to these because they can withstand the weight i will now glue up all the three leaves to make a twig a second leaf is now ready the third leaf i'm going to make is a simple water lily leaf it's a miniature leaf for which i am rolling one strip and putting it in the 15 mm slot of the shaper remove the open coil with the help of a tweezer and glue the coil the key here is the circle in the center of the coil should be intact as in this frame now place it on a surface hold the tweezer in one hand and with the other hand using your thumb and index finger push the opposite side towards the tweezer now glue the center circle to the inversion which is the key so this gives the shape you can use this for any miniature project where you'll need lot of uh, water lily leaves or hyacinth i have couple of them here for the fourth leaf i'm going to be using two strips one in the darker shade and one in the lighter shade so i'm going to follow the same process as we did for the first leaf i'll be folding it into half and then making bows on either side also this is not one leaf it's rather a bunch of leaves so it gives a bushy effect you can use this to make or a bed of lilies or a bed of daffodils in any such project i'm now going to glue the open ends to make it intact and then i'm going to cut the bows i'll further shape each of those i'll uh, cut the edges and make them pointed I love use my quilling needle to bend the leaves on either sides. You can even use this in any garden projects if you want to keep some show plants or depict some show plants. So this will be useful. I have made this with single color as well. So if you want to give a windy effect, then you can bend all the leaves to one side. And couple of them together forms a bush. The fifth leaf I am going to be showing is a creeper. So again it's going to be a set of leaves. for which i am rolling one strip and putting it in the 15 mm slot to make the tendrils for the leaf i'm going to take a quarter of a strip a lighter shaded strip and then roll it with the help of a quilling tool without removing the needle out i'll push the needle to the opposite side and gently pull the strip with my left hand and now with the help of the tweezer i'm pulling the other end of the strip to form a coil so that forms a tendril now i'll be taking the strip the open coil and i'll glue it 
now i'll now make a teardrop shape with the open coil i'll hold a little of the teardrop tip and with the other hand i'll push the rest of the leaf towards the teardrop tip so this gives me three pointed ends and this forms our leaf so we have the leaf and the tendril i already have a twig here i have attached a strip and joined all the leaves now i'm going to glue another leaf and underneath i'll be pasting the tendril as well so here is our fifth leaf i'll show one more tendril one more method of making the tendril roll another quarter of the strip without removing the needle gently pull the strip with your left hand this forms a tendril so you can use this leaf to make any cucumber vines or grape vines or any miniature gardens of that sort while making the fifth leaf ensure you don't press it too hard while making the shape because it's going to get crushed we need a open sort of coil not the crushed one as if i'm showing here for the sixth leaf i'm going to be using shades of yellow for which i'll roll the coil and make it a open coil by putting it in the 15 mm slot of the shaper board once the coiling is done i'll glue them up and same as i uh, i did the open coil i'll be shaping the open coil to do this again i'll hold it between the index finger and the thumb with my both hands and from one hand i'll pull one end upwards and the other hand i'll put, pull it downwards so this way i'm going to prepare all my coils before gluing up the coils i'll place all the coils and check the alignment so depending on the shape or size of the coils i'll be aligning them it's a simple maple inspired leaf so just observe the shape of the lowermost coils how i am placing them now i'll take the uppermost coil and wind it with a strip so the strip is going to support us to join the other coils so i am now gluing rest of the coils you can make this leaf in various shades multiple shades or single shades shades of orange yellow and green or even brown and these were the six types of leaves i was able to share with you all today hope to come back with more ideas please do like share and subscribe and do hit the like button if you liked my work today
and leave your comments as well. Keep watching Art and Craft a Hobby for more such videos. Thank you.